Math 083 Final Exam Review Problem 9 Parts A, B, C, D, and E We want to state the domain of each function. We will start with Part A. Let's recall the definition of the domain of a function. The domain of a function is a list or set or description of all allowable x values. The function we are given is a rational expression, basically a fraction. And we know that for fractions, the denominator cannot be equal to zero. So sometimes, instead of looking directly for allowable x values, we will look for non-allowable x values. The denominator x squared plus 10x plus 24 cannot equal zero. We will solve this non-equation, you might say, the same way we would solve an equation. Because this has an x squared, we will factor x plus 6 times x plus 4 not equal to 0. x plus 6 cannot equal 0. x plus 4 cannot equal 0. Subtracting 6 from both sides, x cannot equal negative 6. And here, subtracting 4 from both sides, x cannot equal negative 4. So negative 6 and negative 4 are the non-allowable x values. And therefore, the domain of f, all real numbers except x equal negative 6 and x equals negative 4. In part b, we have g of x equals the square root of 5x minus 3. What is the domain of g? The principle here is that the quantity of which you are taking the square root, 5x minus 3, that must be greater than or equal to 0. We will solve this inequality. So the domain of g can be written as the inequality. That would be sufficient. I will write it in words. All real numbers greater than or equal to 3 fifths. In part c, we have the polynomial h of x. It is a fact worth memorizing that the domain of any polynomial is the set of all real numbers. Another fact worth memorizing, the domain of any exponential function of the form y equals b to the x is the set of all real numbers. In part e, we have f of x equals log base 2 of x. We could state the domain from memory, but I would like to look at the graph of this function and determine the domain in red here, we have a rough sketch of the graph of f. Now, if we want to determine the domain of f, we must understand its position in a left-to-right kind of sense. Along the graph of f, the x-coordinates here are getting closer to zero. As we look to the right, the x-coordinates are getting greater without any kind of bound. So the domain all real numbers greater than zero. Another way to discuss this is to note that that which you are taking the log of must be a positive number. So your input must be greater than zero, any number greater than zero. 